All right, so I told my LPP team that I was going to make this recap video highlighting the areas of opportunity today. So if you were to look at my PL, right? So $10,552.70 uh, is pretty much what I ended up at. I left myself with my one lucky share, so therefore I closed out my entire short position on NVIDIA. Now, don't get me wrong, today was a successful day. I ended in the green, but don't allow your green days to hide the fact that there was so much area of improvement. Now, I ended the day at $10,500. What if I told you that within the first two hours of the market being open, I was already borderline up $10,000. Now, from the time that, you know, two hours after the market opened up until market close, I ended at the same price. And that was fortunately because market direction didn't completely turn against me. The big mistake that I made today, and this is what I'm trying to highlight, is what I simply could have done better. Let me first highlight what I did well. During today's live trading session, so if you're part of my LPP team, you can feel free to go watch today's live stream video where you see NVIDIA gap up very quickly. I begin to open up a short position. So I identified an opportunity that was very similar to yesterday. So if you look at this on the five minute, and that's why I have it here, you could see the same common resistance range being tested. Remember, patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to. Because of that, I showed interest in wanting to short NVIDIA because it got rejected here last time and ended up selling off. So I could make the assumption that, okay, as long as it respects the same general resistance range, we could potentially get rejected once again. Therefore, making money shorting, right? When you short a stock, you're borrowing shares and then you buy them back to cover and you make money as the stock loses value. So originally, this was where I made a majority of my money within a very short period of time. This was a 3% sell-off. Now, I trade with well over $250,000. So therefore, the position that I took trading, uh, shorting NVIDIA 3% is a huge return for me. I know that you might follow a lot of traders that try to make 10, 20, 50, 100%. I'm not one of those traders. I don't trade BS stocks. I don't trade options. I don't trade penny stocks or OTC stocks. I try to fo focus on blue chip stocks. With that being said, 3% on a given trade is like really, really good for me. So therefore, I was really excited. I, I was up about $7,000. And that's when I made today's first video. But what I began to realize was that you know, as this thing came back up to retest, I took another short position and tried to make money as it sold off. Then I got close to being up $10,000. I was like up like 9,000, 9,100, 9,300. And I began to obsess about the dollar amount that I was up. And I talk about this all the time with my LPP team. Do not allow the amount that you are up or down to cloud your trade. I mean, it's as simple as that. The amount that you are up or down is completely irrelevant to the actual trade opportunity. The trade opportunity should be either based off of technicals or fundamentals, and it has absolutely nothing to do with how much you're up or down. But because so early on, I just, I wanted to show that I was up $10,000 and I was obsessing about it. And again, this is a very simple mistake that I know that and even at, at my level and even at your level, we can all relate to. What I mean with this is trade the actual opportunity. Don't trade based off of how much you up are up or down. Because of my inability to accept that there was no more further progress below 106. Because if you pay attention to NVIDIA, the very common support range was 106. It would pull back to 106 and then come back up to highs of 107.70. It would come back to lows of 106. It would come back up to 107.70. It was literally all it did. It sold off, consolidated. And I was so fortunate that NVIDIA didn't actually begin to show signs of progress on the upside because there was no break of pattern. NVIDIA never made progress on the upside. So because of that, I never saw there to be a reason that I needed to cut losses on my NVIDIA short that I opened over here because it was still valid. But I was itching. I was itching and wanting that $10,000 gain. But anytime that I would see that I was up only 9,100, I refused to sell. And how many times have you done that? How many times have you obsessed about, I just want to hit $100, or I just want to hit $500, or whatever that pretty figure might look like in your head at whatever level it is that you are, 
and you cloud your thought process when it comes down to that trade, you only focus on how much you are up or down, and then the trade ends up ultimately going south. Because honestly, any time, or if it would have, if this thing surpassed 107.70 and began to recover, I would have had to cut losses. And although I ended at 10,500, that's because I was able to close it out in the green. If it would have been break even, I would have been at 7,000. If it would have turned against me, I might have ended the day at four or $3,000. Therefore, giving back money I already made due to my inability to accept that there was a valid support that was obvious. I mean, someone that just has very beginner experience could tell you, okay, there's a support here. Very simple. But I was so stubborn that I was clouding my thought process when it came down to my trade. And again, it, it happens at all different levels. People think that when you start to trade with more money, when you begin to experience more success in this market, that you just have it all figured out. No, it's like life. You have your good moments, you have your bad moments. You have moments where you really work well with the market and you have moments where you don't, where again, I'm not taking away anything from, you guys might be like, well, that's really easy to say when you're $10,000 in the green. Again, yes, I, I get that. But besides that, it's what I'm trying to emphasize is even on your green days, I know for a fact, there's been a bunch of you that think that it was just a super successful day, but we all know on the back end that that was not the case. That if we would have dissected the trade that you actually took, there were many moments you could have, could have either performed better, more efficiently, or if the trade went against you and if you had no risk management, you ultimately would have ended in the red. And that's what I'm trying to emphasize is that even on your green days, you build healthy habits, not because you assume that you're going to end in the green, but that you, you understand and respect what could have gone wrong so next time you go to trade, you end up not making that same mistake. So again, understanding that if there's a signs of a support, that you accept it and that you accept that even if you're up 9,100 or whatever the dollar amount might be, it's insignificant that you're just like, okay, this is a valid support. I'm going to close out my short here and respect the trend because that is exactly what the charts are telling me. Now, again, it's very simple. But again, this comes at all different levels. And I know that this is a message even just one of you might need to hear. So again, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to message me. If you're part of our LPP team and you didn't watch today's live trading session, I would really encourage you click the second link in the description down below. Or if you're already a part of our LPP team, go inside the LPP Discord and watch today's live trading session. Because I really think that the idea or the 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 overall breakdown of that trade is something that you will learn a lot about. But on top of that, again, if you've never watched me trade live, second link in the description down below, you can sign up today, watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow. And that's that second link in the description down below. So I appreciate your time. Hope that your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.